So we're just departing over now and it's about 45 minutes over to Mull. There's obviously space down below, cafes and things like that, but I wanted to stay up top to get the views as we go across. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to be visiting Mull for three days and I've got a range of activities planned, including boat trips, visiting historical sites and, of course, sampling the food. So we've just arrived at Jewett Castle, which is the castle we got the amazing views from the ferry. And this castle was lovingly restored in 1911. I've got a very special treat today because I'm being shown round by Sir Lachlan Maclean, who of course is the chief of the Maclean clan and this is their ancestral home. Hello there, good morning. Look, some people say, you know, come in and they go, oh wow, uh, it's hollow. Because in fact, if you look through that window there, which is in fact our kitchen now, you're looking straight out at Ben Nevis, the other side. And so that, that, that bit of building is just one, one room thick, so it's not, not huge at all. 14th century Jewett Castle sits on a high crag jutting out into a peninsula in the southeast of Mull. From the 18th century, the castle was a ruin until it was completely refurbished in 1911 by Sir Fitzroy Maclean. The magnificent rooms the public can visit include the Great Hall, state bedrooms and traditional kitchen as well as the dungeons. So this is just one of the restored dungeons in the castle here. And inside this is actually a Spaniard because a lot of the ships in the Spanish Armada flew around the west coast and there were a lot of wrecks here. Jewett Castle also has some great historical exhibitions including scout memorabilia, as Charles Maclean was chief scout of the Scout Association in the UK from 1959 to 1971. That was an absolutely fascinating tour. There's so much history here dating back hundreds of years and to have the special honour of going around with Sir Lachlan was incredible as well. He's so knowledgeable and so passionate. Now I've come to the tea rooms, which is a very popular place because they do a lot of cakes, pastries, and I have chosen the special orange and poppy seed Jewett cake with a lovely view. This afternoon I'm having a wander around Tobermory, which is the capital of Mull and the largest settlement on the island. I'm staying in the Mishnish, which is the yellow building just behind me. Now Tobermory was founded in 1788 as a fishing community and it's still clearly a thriving fishing village, but now it's very popular with the tourists for a number of reasons. Firstly the colourful houses and how pretty it looks, but there's a lot of lovely shops, pubs, cafes and also a distillery which I'm going to go and have a look around. Good morning, it's my second day on Mull and today I've come down to the Ulver Ferry and I'm going to be joining a small tour company called Taurus Mara. They're a family run company and they do tours of Treshnish and Staffa. This is meant to be a really great place to see wildlife, lots of birds, possibly a seal colony. And I'm pretty excited to get out on the water and explore some of the coastline.
wildlife aside, this scenery is absolutely incredible. Although on the past few trips out, they've seen common dolphins, mink whales, seals, gannets, and a whole host of other stuff. So I've got high hopes for this trip. Shortly into the trip, we were absolutely delighted to be joined by a pod of common dolphins, swimming alongside the boat and playing in the wake. We've got some more up ahead, I think. Quite a few by the looks of it. There they are. There's a few. Hello! Yay! <laughs> Look at him go! Oh my god! There's loads! Although the water's dark, it's actually quite clear, so you can see them lower down. Look at them! They've actually been swimming along with us for quite a long time now. I think they're really enjoying it. waters around Pringles Cave now, which is even more dramatic than it looks in the pictures. But 60 foot high. Incredibly impressive. It looks a bit like Giant's Causeway in Ireland. With all the column stacks. So just before dinner this evening, I've come to the northwest part of Mull to Calgary Bay. Now, Calgary in Canada is named after here, and it's one of the most famous beaches on the whole island. It's incredibly pretty, and apparently on a sunny day, it can look a bit like the Caribbean, but obviously today it's quite overcast and very much feels like beautiful Scotland. Although there are a few people dipping in the water over there, but rather them than me today. For dinner this evening, I've come to one of the most popular restaurants on Mull, which is called Amberlin, and it's not that far away from Calgary Bay that I just visited. And one of the reasons that I wanted to come here is inside the menu, they have a big list of all of the suppliers and information about where they get their food from. So actually, a lot of the foods are listed and it tells you the food miles for each item. So the crab and lobster is only 0.5 food miles. And actually further down here, we've got Colin's lime court mackerel. And Colin, of course, was the skipper from Torres Mara, who I went out with earlier today. So that's obviously a top try on the menu. 
so just snuck out before my starter arrived because the sky looks so pretty. The clouds up there just look glorious. In Scotland, you definitely do get all of the seasons in one day. So we've just driven down to the southwestmost point of Mull and I'm taking a quick jaunt over to the island of Iona. And the reason I've done this is it's very quick and easy to do on the ferry. And I wanted to go and see Iona Abbey, which you can see just in the distance there and is a short walking distance from the port. So Iona Abbey was founded by St Columba about 1,450 years ago and it still remains an important centre of Christianity. And actually Iona is often a pilgrimage site for many Christians. So you might have seen this style of Celtic cross in other areas of Scotland or in Ireland, but this one has actually been standing here since 750 AD. It's got very short arms, as you can see, but on either side, there's two slots where on special occasions, they put in decorative arms, which are much longer, made of wood, sometimes gold. I don't just know this, by the way, I learned it from the audio guide. This area called the Cloisters was the heart of life in the monastery. It linked the abbey to the other buildings and these covered walkways were places where you could come and contemplate. After that glorious sunset and red sky last night, it's absolutely no surprise that it's such a lovely morning here in Tobermory. But this is actually my last morning on Mull because I'm about to catch the ferry over to Kilchun. <laughs> I asked the lovely lady at the Mishnish Hotel how to pronounce that, so hopefully I've done a good job. We're just parked up now, ready to get on the ferry, and it's about a 35 minute journey over to the mainland. I've got very fond memories of travelling by ferry. I used to go on a lot of ferry holidays with my family when I was a kid. And this is just glorious now with the sun out. On this side, there's a very pretty lighthouse. Got a yacht sailing over there. Magnificent scenery. It's not just a way to travel, it's actually part of the fun. So I had an amazing time on Mole some great adventures out on the water and some delicious food. I only spent three days there, but I definitely could have extended my journey for days, if not weeks, and I'd definitely like to go back. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be heading over to the Isle of Skye to have some more adventures.